so it is Friday night and it's pizza night. So I'm going to be making uh, two homemade sauces. Um, I'm going to be making the tomato sauce that you posted on Moodle. And then um, since I'm on a low histamine diet, no tomatoes for me. Um, but I make this really awesome roasted red pepper sauce. Um, so I'll make that too and show you both of those. And then homemade dough. And we'll eat delicious pizza tonight. So I will go ahead and start making stuff and show you as I go. So to start, I'm going to be making the tomato sauce. So uh, here are all my ingredients laid out. I'm a little bit bummed because my um, silly self, I forgot I only had one can of tomato paste. So um, we're going to have to play with that and see what we can do to change it and still get a decent sauce with just one of those. So I have four organic tomatoes. Salt and pepper, um, onion powder, oregano. I was going to put a little thyme in there and a little red pepper to kick up the spice. And then I also have basil and fresh parsley because I didn't have any dried parsley. And then I have uh, garlic and avocado oil. So I need to crush the tomatoes still and I will get it started in the pan and show you from there. So this is how I am uh, crushing the tomatoes, so to speak, because um, usually I guess you boil them and peel the skin off, but um, you take the, uh, just a grater and you cut the tomato in half. I don't know if I can do it um, one-handed. Probably not. Um, maybe I can prop this like that. And so you um, go ahead and grate it. I know that it's kind of weird, but it actually works. Um, and then it comes out. I don't know if you can see that. Um, all the water and like the uh, juices and all that, so it's not going to be a watery sauce. But that's how I'm doing it. Um, there's probably a better way, but this is quick and um, seems to yield pretty good results. So that's one tomato. But yeah, that's how I'm doing it. Okay, so I have put every ingredient in the saucepan after I heated the garlic up for about two minutes and. I think I'm going to add the water um, that you said was optional and just kind of reduce it down um, just to break up the chunks of tomato a little bit more. So hopefully that helps. But I did try it even though I'm not really supposed to. And the flavor is excellent. So I'm, I'm super excited. Kind of bummed I don't get to have on my pizza. But yeah, we will see what happens with adding the water. Okay, so while this sauce is being made, I'm going to go ahead and make the pizza crust because um, that's going to take a little bit. Um, so I chose just to get a pizza crust mix. Uh, it's gluten free partly because there isn't any yeast in it. Um, I can't have any form of yeast at the moment um, and then plus it is a little bit easier. Um, technically I usually would make my own dough like just different flours and adding the baking soda and all that but um, this is just kind of simplifying. Um, because I'm making sauces too, so just to cut time down. And I, I really do like this brand. Um, so anyways, I'm going to pour, I already poured the uh, flour mixture in there. And then a couple teaspoons of oil. And then I think it's about two or three cups of water. I have to look again. But yeah, just mix it up and then um, roll it out. So it's, it's pretty simple. Um, and it's really good. I've had it before. So yeah. So I have made a big mess, but that always happens when I am making a pizza. So there's my big ball of dough, and um, it was a little wet, so I've added some flour to it, but now I'm going to roll it out, um, hopefully into two, but we'll see. Uh, the fiancé loves his pizza, so I might make another box and he can have leftovers, but yeah, we'll see how this rolls out, if it can roll out into two nicely sized pizzas. So, there we go. So, I thought I would show you um, my low histamine sauce. Um, usually, I would roast the red peppers, but when I went to the store today, the organic bell peppers were not looking good. So, I went ahead and bought the canned, or glass can. Anyways, um... Technically, I really shouldn't be doing that. It's higher histamine content than freshly roasted, but um, kind of 
just how the cookie crumbled in this case. Um, but anyways, I will use this whole thing. Um, I'll drain it and use all of the bell pepper in there. And then I put around half a shallot, maybe a little more. I taste it. Um, a clove or two of garlic, depending on how it tastes. Half a lemon juiced. And then about a tablespoon of basil and about a tablespoon and a half of parsley. And salt and pepper. And it's actually really good. Um, I use it for pizza sauce, I've used it for pasta sauce, um, even like a salsa, so it's definitely a good alternative for me personally just while I'm trying this low histamine thing. So I will go ahead and put all these ingredients and blend them up. So here is my delicious pizza. I'm super excited about it, so I gotta throw it in the oven here, but just to go over everything, so the sauce is my uh, roasted red bell pepper sauce. And then I have some onion underneath all the arugula, and then I have um, some crumbled goat cheese on there. So um, goat cheese is one of the few cheeses I can have, both because I have allergies to like cow's milk, and um, most cheese is actually really high in histamine, so it's not something I can usually have, so this is kind of a treat. So I will uh, put it in the oven, I think it said for at least 20 minutes, and then I'll show you the finished product. Okay, so now it is time to make the second pizza with the tomato sauce I made. Um, and I think it came out really good. Uh, the tomatoes definitely cooked down so it's not so chunky. Um, and it tastes delicious. So I think um, the fiancé is going to be really happy about it. So for his pizza, I'm doing the tomato sauce. And then he's a cheese guy, so I've got some fresh mozzarella. And uh, the veggies I could convince him to put on his pizza is onions and olives, which I don't really count olives as a veggie. But <laughs> And then he really likes um, pepperoni. So I have this turkey pepperoni that's supposed to be, like, you know, healthier, so to speak. Um, I don't get it for him often, so... It's a special treat for Friday night pizza, but yeah, I'm just going to put all of this together and then this one will go in the oven as well and yeah, we'll be eating pizza real soon. My pizza's done. I'm so excited. It looks delicious. Um, I cut myself a slice, so I'm going to give it a try, but I'm 100% sure it's going to be yummy.